I'm Sina Musalabi, Iranian journalist and former blogger. Uh, three years ago, in April, to, um, uh, no, no, five years ago, I have lost time. Uh, um, in the uh, day, one day before I became 30 years old, years old I was arrested by Iranian government. Uh, before that, uh, for five uh, months, I was interrogated, summoned to the court, and I was afraid to mention it in my weblog because um, the government told me that um, this procedure is secret and I don't have any right to, um, to write about it in my weblog. Then uh, I was arrested and I spent 23 days in solitary cell. and. Uh, I uh, spent most of, most of the time blindfolded under very severe psychological pressures uh, and uh, I, I don't know, maybe I was too weak, but uh, after three weeks in prison, I, I lost my um, psychological stability. I, I heard un, uh, unreal voices and uh, I had these conflicting ideas and uh, illusions in my head. Sometimes in, in the cell, I was interrogating myself inside my head, you know, and then my conscience came back and I said, okay, no, uh, this is not true. This is what uh, interrogators want me to believe. And I was interrogated about every word of every post in my weblog. So after five years, I cannot tell you that what was the real reason of my arrest. Like, I don't know uh, which post was the reason, official reason of my arrest. I, I really don't know that. The only thing they told me when I was in prison, uh, when I was in cell, I was blindfolded and I was interrogated uh, by the, um, the head interrogator, uh, who I never saw him. And he told me that uh, I, I, has, um, I have written in my weblog that blogging is a free way for expressing the, your views and beliefs without any cost, without any need to technical knowledge or financial power or things like that. And he told me that we want to prove that you are wrong. There are several costs, there are very high costs in blogging, and we want to make you an example of that. So yes, we cannot go and trace every single blogger who criticizes our government, but we can scare them out. And I think if you look at Iranian blogosphere today, it's still live and it has not worked out. But uh, in some way, they were uh, relatively more successful with uh, moderate ordinary people. Uh, because moderate people, average users, they are not uh, willing and they are not ready to pay high costs. They, are, they don't want to risk their lives and risk uh, the life of their family uh, on, on writing on the web. You know, in my case, they not only arrested me, but one year after I was released, when I left the country, when I was living in Netherlands, I, I sought asylum in Netherlands, they arrested my father and uh, kept him in jail for 10 days. And that was when I, I thought I cannot, I cannot pay this cost. I, I can, I can accept what, whatever they want to do with me, but I cannot uh, put this burden on my family. And there are many, many people like me who have moderate views, who are not uh, fighters, who love freedom, who love freedom and want to resist against censorship, but they don't want to put their families on, in the risk. And, and they, they are scared out. Uh, and the, the, the field is now open to ex more ex extreme views, you know. Uh, the higher the costs go, the more, more uh, moderate people are scared out. And, and this is the case with Iranian cyberspace, I think, today, that it is um, the voice of extremists is louder and clearer than uh, ordinary people. And internet is about ordinary people. Internet is about average users, because this is the difference between this uh, medium uh, and any other tradition on media. It is the place you can hear the voice of ordinary average users and the Iranian government or other governments who put this pressure on uh, online uh, journalism and online users, they scare these people out and, and, and give the field to extremists of both sides. And, uh, 
And I think the average users also have the problem now of finding uh, reliable information on the net, uh, net because if you go to the cyberspace, there are lots of websites with different views and uh, an average user has no tool to, to examine which website is reliable and which is not. And, and there are many websites backed by the government uh, spreading rumors, false information. And there are some extreme radical uh, websites outside the country who want to uh, spread any fact that help their political agenda. And I think today it is important that we not only condemn uh, every single RS in uh, countries like Iran, uh, we not only fight against the censorship and blocking, but also we raise the, uh, the awareness about uh, media literacy, about the role of media, and give information and uh, knowledge to ordinary people and average users, how they can find reliable information in this uh, exciting uh, field for information and also this field uh, full of mine, as some put it. <laughs>